<laughs> Delver. It's an early access game on Steam right now. It has a, a very fun, flat 3D look to it. And uh, I say flat 3D because all the enemies uh, in the world are basically have two sides. The side that's facing you and then the side that's not facing you. And they flip around like pieces of paper. And the rest of the uh, dungeon is very rudimentary. It's it's very blocky and uses this uh, artistic style that I believe I read was called Chunky Pixels. It really makes the lighthearted feel of the game become part of the graphics as well. You have two forms of attack, magic and physical weapons. And then you have two ways to use those to attack, the strong attack and the weak attack. Uh, the strong attack if, is done by holding down your attack no. button. Uh, when you right. do this, you can't walk as fast as normal, so it kind of behooves you not to use it all the time. Uh, your magic is also contained in wands, which have limited charges, kind of like your bow and arrow. The point is to go into a dungeon that's procedurally driven, so it'll never be the same way twice, even though you will see rooms that uh, repeat it feels a little bit more than others and you go down you're supposed to find a boss kill it and come I guess come back up and then dive down again I've gotten to the third dungeon and that's about it ah I don't have all the time to play as I did when I was a teenager but I got to level three in the dungeon this can be treated as a very short burst play game. You can jump in, you can get your play out of it that you want to get, and then you can drop out, and you don't feel like you didn't get something out of it. If Delver looks or sounds like something you'd like to play, you can find it now on Steam for $7.99. It is in beta, but when it comes out in full release, you get a copy of that right away. As for me, I'm going to head back into a dungeon. Start stabbing things.